Hello everyone, in today's fast tutorial, we learn how to use image-based lighting or IBL for short in Cycles and EV. First, open the shader editor and go to the world context. There, we'll find a world output node as well as a background node. We create an environment texture, connect it to the background input, and we select our HDR image. We check that we are using a linear raw color space and we're good to go. Now we have image-based lighting in our scene. And if we want to adjust the strength of the light, we can change the strength in the background node. This is too simple, so let's do something a little bit more complex. Imagine we want to use different images depending on the rays of the renderer. For example, we want to see a different image reflected in this chrome ball. To do it, we go back to the shader editor and start by creating a mix node and a new environment texture node. We connect the mix node to the background, the existing environment texture to the color one of the mix node, and then let's open a new HDR image in the new environment node. Set the color space to the linear row and connect it to the color two of the mix node. Now all that remains is to define the mask or factor that will be used by the mix node to combine both images. For that, we create a new node called light path and connect the reflection rate to the factor input of the mix node. And it's working as expected. We can see the original HDR image lighting the scene, and the new one only visible in the reflections of the crumble. This method is pretty neat, because it can be escalated to the point in which we use one HDR map for each trait type, so we can have full control of how it behaves. Well, that's all for now. See you in the next fast tutorial.